The Dice Awards are a celebration of the best and brightest in video games. And the winner is... Beat Saber. Today was a huge milestone for us as well, which is pretty insane. <laughs> and this is that we reach... 1 million sold copies. 1 million copies. I'm close to the place where E3 will be happening really soon. Um, it seems that they are finishing Doom posters. But there is something... Even cooler, I would say. <laughs> Beat Saber is a VR game that I believe will have a very, very long lifespan. I've made a couple of videos, you know, thanking you guys for 100,000 subscribers and stuff like that, but I feel like I need to make a tribute for the Beat Saber dev team, the modding community, and, uh, and the game itself. In case you don't know what Beat Saber is, Beat Saber is a VR rhythm slasher type of game where the goal is to slice the correctly colored blocks within the rhythm of the song. Think of Guitar Hero mixed with Fruit Ninja. You have a blue saber on your right hand and a red saber on your left hand. So if a block were to come towards you and there's an arrow pointing right, you would slash your blue saber to the right side of the block. The game is simple and it's a very easy to learn game. Now that the Oculus Quest is out, Beat Saber is available on there and you can bring it over to a friend's or family member's house so they can try it out and see if they like the game. Within time, I feel like Beat Saber will help revolutionize VR and push a movement. A movement where other companies will develop their own VR headsets. Take example for Valve. Valve has been developing their own headset for a while now, but they've recently announced their Index headset and it looks amazing. And just a side note, PC VR is far superior than a console VR, at least in uh, 2019. Anyways, this video is going to be dedicated to the developers over at Beat Games and to the modding community. I'll be having a few different chapters, which I will also put a timestamp down below in the, in the description. So if you ever want to pick up where you left off, you can definitely do that. Sit back, relax, grab yourself something to drink and get cozy. Beat Saber is a simple VR game that you don't even need to know a lot about video games to understand how Beat Saber works. And this is where the game really captures the audience. People are going to be interested in what the game is about and they're also going to get a lot of Star Wars vibes. And it's no secret that it does and this is how the game really captures people's interest. This video game is fantastic to get into video games. As a matter of fact, Beat Saber is so simple that if you were to show somebody that's never seen the game before, they will understand what the game is about. If I were to make a comment about one fantastic thing that Beat Saber does that not many games do is that it appeals to everyone of all ages. I've also seen a couple of Twitter videos of kids that are probably seven, six years old that played Beat Saber and it looks like they're having a fun time playing it. I even let one of my relatives play it and they're 10 years old and they had a, a fun time playing the game. There's even one older man that uploads his run using mixed reality on YouTube. The developers are working very hard to expand the game's accessibility. Uh, first it started off with uh, PSVR and then now we're moving on to the Oculus Quest which recently came out and who knows what else is there to come. There's probably going to be a day if you haven't already that you'll look on the online store, you'll see Beat Saber on there. If you happen to have a VR, you'll probably check out YouTube videos, you probably saw a couple of my videos and it captures your attention, you buy the game, you download it and then you launch it. And this is where we move on to our next segment.
When you boot up Beat Saber for the first time, you're going to be greeted with the health and safety warning, which I highly recommend reading because Beat Saber is a physical extensive game. So it's very important to stretch and drink some water before you play the game. After you click continue, you're going to see the game's menu. And most importantly, you're going to hear the main menu music. The menu for this game is simple yet recognizable. This is on the same level as Minecraft. You know, when you launch up the game for the first time, you create a world and you listen to a song like Sweden, you are never going to forget how the song sounds like you can stop playing for five years come back to minecraft and you'll still recognize all the songs it'll give you flashbacks and i believe this is how beat saber is going to end up being as well you can play beat saber for a few months stop playing it for two years and then come back on after a long time and you'll still remember the menu song this game has one of the very few cases where the tutorial is not obnoxiously long it's straightforward simple and most importantly it doesn't drag on for half an hour long the tutorial runs for about one minute long here just take a look at this Welcome to Beat Saber. Stand in the center and put the sabers into these rings to start. Good. Now cut the cubes in the arrow direction and match the color. Good. Excellent. Perfect. any direction. Awesome. Good. That's it. Do not cut or touch these bombs with your sabers. Great. Nice. Lean left. Lean right. Congratulations, you are ready now. After you complete it, that's it. You know how to play the game. After you are done with the tutorial, you're gonna want to play your first song. So this is where we move on to chapter three. When you click on that solo play button, you're going to see a bunch of songs, uh, probably the OST volume one, and you're going to scroll through them. And the first thing you're going to notice is that there are different difficulties. What I mean by that is that when you're looking through the songs, you're going to click on a song and you're going to see five different difficulties, similar to Guitar Hero, where there's easy, normal, hard, expert, and expert plus. When you play your first song, the first difficulty you're going to play is most likely on easy mode. And after you beat easy mode, you're going to go up to normal mode and then hard mode and then expert and eventually expert plus, which is going to be very difficult for many people at first however i guarantee you as long as you keep trying and trying and trying to pass it you will eventually succeed and this is the formula that beat saber does that just captures people's replayability think about it like this each song is about two minutes long and there are five difficulties assuming that you play every single difficulty that's 10 minutes total and there are about 10 songs in the first pack so that's a hundred minutes spent for one pack and I'm not even including the additional free songs and the DLC. The developers are working really hard to bring in new songs, whether it's free or paid. I know the paid part can be a little bit controversial because people might ask, how come I have to pay for these packs? Here, I'll answer that for you. Whenever a company wants to license a song, that costs a lot of money. So whenever people purchase the DLC, not only does part of the money go towards the developers, but also part of the cut goes towards the original license holder. Anyways, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here. It's great that the developers are bringing in new songs so that people can come back to playing Beat Saber. What's great about DLCs and free songs is that it brings in a new wave of difficulties. While these songs might be difficult for the less experienced players, some of these songs are not even as hard as the custom songs. And speaking of custom songs, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next chapter. Real quick before we get into this chapter, I just want to say that the developers are not purposely breaking mods. If you've ever played a game like Minecraft, you know it's normal whenever the game updates that all mods break. Please, I hope you understand that this is normal and the developers are not evil. If you notice that your mods are broken after an update, just wait a couple of days for the modding community to update it. Keep in mind that the modders are doing this for free. They aren't getting paid and they also have their own lives to deal with. Real quick, I just want to squeeze this in. I feel so sorry for PS4 users because they cannot get mods on their console. Oculus Quest is lucky enough to get custom songs 
songs. So if you have an Oculus Quest, you can download some songs and you can take your Oculus Quest wherever you go and play wherever you want, which is really cool. Okay, I just want to say this right off the bat that I believe the modding community is one of the best communities I've ever been involved in. It's because of these modders that they're able to bring a bunch of great new features to the game. For example, one of the more recent mods that we've discovered is the crazy walls. Another example would be this one mod called Unlocked Lanes, where basically you can place a note around anywhere in the chart. You know what I'm talking about. The most popular chart that utilizes this mod is Centipede Visual Representation. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you do because it's super cool. <laughs> I've made a video almost a year ago showcasing a handful of mods, albeit it is very old, so I think it'd be pretty cool to make a new video on it. Seriously, huge shout out to every single modder that's participated in modding Beat Saber. Without mods, I truly believe that I wouldn't be here. Beat Saber has seriously changed my life in a positive way, more than you can even imagine. I am very grateful to be a content creator, and whether or not I upload Beat Saber videos, I hope at the end of the day, I make you happy. Think about an alternate universe just for a second. If it weren't for Beat Saber and the modding community would i even be here and most importantly would you guys have discovered my channel Rarely do video games change people's lives for the better. There was a Twitter post from the official Beat Saber account where they held a contest where people had to share their story of how Beat Saber changed their lives with hashtag MySaberStory. The first place winner would receive an Oculus Quest. If you were to look up hashtag MySaberStory, you can read a bunch of different stories from a lot of different people. One of the most popular claims that I read from these stories is how Beat Saber really makes them lose weight. There are also other posts where people have medical conditions or family issues. Seriously, just take like five minutes out of your day to read a couple of these stories and you'd be surprised. I've read stories where people go out and buy a VR because of me. I'm really happy that I get to share the love with Beat Saber with everyone online. No matter who you are, whether you've played the game for one day or for a few months or even a year, Beat Saber will always have a place in our hearts. It's really crazy how the developers never thought that their game would blow up and be so successful. It's really great that the developers got the success that they deserve. I honestly feel like Beat Saber will continue to change so many people's lives. So the the next time that you know somebody that plays Beat Saber, be sure to ask them how they feel about the game. Beat Saber will continue to revolutionize VR. VR is still at its infant state. You know, we're not at Ready Player One era where we can just wear gloves and cool sunglasses and then we're in the game. Although, ironically, we are getting one step closer from virtual reality feeling like reality. And the reason why I say that is because Steam developed their own controllers called the Index Controllers, which is supposed to mimic your hand movements. And this isn't necessarily index specific, but finger tracking, right? You can move all your fingers, and which is, we forget how much we communicate with our hands. It's like, it's like, good job guys. You two guys, you two go over there. There's like a bunch of different sensors built into the controller. So it knows when you're like clenching your fist or pointing one finger, it's pretty crazy. Next thing you know, we're wearing gloves and haptic suits and cool sunglasses like in Ready Player One. Even though we're not quite there yet, Beat Saber is definitely helping the VR industry because they're exposing VR to the masses. This isn't some sort of gimmick unlike the Xbox Kinect or the PlayStation camera. This is a real consumer product. Sure, it is a little pricey, but right now this product is aimed for enthusiasts and people that really, really want to jump into the VR wagon early. Slowly as the years move on, new tech is going to be developed and the older models are gonna be dropped down in price. So it's gonna be more affordable for the general public. With that being said, everyone at the Beat Saber team, thank you so much for creating a game that changed a lot of people's lives for the better. The game is great. It has a ton of replayability and most importantly, it has modding support. I am very excited to see what Beat Saber and VR has to offer in the future. Thank you to everybody that's made it to the end of the video. If you really enjoyed it, please be sure to share on Twitter, on Facebook, like, and also subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I have a Discord if you guys want to join my Discord and talk to me there. I have a Twitter and I also stream on Twitch. All the links will be down below in the description. So if you want to drop a follow, you guys can do that. I had a fun time creating this video and I hope that you guys can see that. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.